Okay, everybody. So welcome back. This is Ian from Mindful Marketplace. This is a really quick update uh, relative to a current event for those of you selling landing pages using card. So as some of you know, uh, Twitter bought the review newsletter, <coughs> excuse me, platform uh, last year. Review is a curated newsletter service that's been really quite popular uh, with a lot of you. And for me as well, really just a fantastic way of curating content in your local community. Uh, you know, as we know with Twitter, like all this kind of crazy cartoon, uh, you know, clown crash sort of cluster fucky nonsense that's been happening since Elon Musk bought the platform. Well, now it appears like the review uh, piece of the platform is being shuttered. So review is again, a newsletter service that was purchased by Twitter in 2021, I believe. They've been around and I've been using them for years. Unfortunately, Twitter has decided to, you know, take down this particular service. So if you're using uh, your, you know, if you're selling that as the uh, landing page and email newsletter service that you've integrated for your clients, I'm going to show you really quickly how to change it. So all you're going to do here is change the form there to a different service. So they still have review here in the card back end, but there's only a month left before a review officially goes offline. So I'd certainly recommend making changes to that now. There are both free and uh, paid options here. There are inexpensive options as well. Something like, um, you know, mail, uh, MailChimp is on the higher end from a price point standpoint. If you're really doing this as an agency, something like MailerLite or one of these others you know, is more affordable and I'd recommend them instead. Button down is also very uh, good for curated newsletters. Beehive is something that's come out in the last, I don't know, year or so as a comp, as a competitor to Substack. And they're quite interesting. I haven't used them yet. Uh, certainly, um, you know, MailChimp is the one that everyone knows. I use Flowdesk uh, in particular. Unfortunately, Flowdesk is not integrated with Card, but it doesn't really matter. You can and simply, you know, whatever you use, you simply just make the change here. So where this is a review form here, as you'll see, or this may actually have no, um, yeah, this has no uh, service attached to it as because uh, it's a template. It's not a uh, individual landing page that we're using. Let me see if you just change it to to. MailChimp, you're going to have additional fields that you need to fill out. There's an API, an audience ID, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, if, you, if you go to Beehive, they have an API as well, I believe, and a publication ID. I believe that ConvertKit also has a, yeah, they just have a form ID and the API key. What made Review so nice was they only had the API key and you're good to go. But they're not around. So they're not going to be around come January 25th, I believe, uh, 2023. So you want to move, obviously, your clients off of this or your own landing page off of this and pick another, um, you know, newsletter provider to integrate with. I will say this as well. If you want to do, if you want to continue doing content curation as a newsletter, as a newsletter service, or if you want to continue doing content curation yourself and offering curated, you know, updates and links and resources and things like that to your audience, I'm going to record a very specific and somewhat special video for my community on what I'm doing uh, with our review curation uh, content, putting it into a very different uh, free program that we use. Actually, I pay for this, but you can use it for free and it'll allow you to curate stories, events, news, things that are happening in your local community, et cetera, et cetera, or in your niche or in your market or affiliate programs and all of that in a beautiful a uh, link that's available to your subscribers, as well as a PDF download, which is really, really appealing for those of us selling services to, you know, local businesses or our, our professional peers, niche neighbors, etc. All right. Hopefully this has been helpful. Unfortunately, it's sort of sucky that uh, Elon Musk has shuttered a review. It's, you know, to the chagrin of many 
uh, thousands and thousands of publishers, but I'm sure they have their reasons and there are other alternatives. I would also uh, let you know if you're not using card and you're not, you know, but you are using a newsletter and you are using review and you're watching this, uh, Ghost is the absolute best alternative to review. And it's, I mean, a phenomenal platform that you're building on your, you're building your brand on your own land. So you're not taking a chance that something like this happens. All the ghost, you know, ghost is not going anywhere. It's a nonprofit. It's used by many, many tens of thousands of independent publishers. It's open source software. So even if they decided to, you know, fall into the ocean, there's still the software itself, which is open source and can be maintained by the, you know, tremendous brain collective genius of the many folks who are programmers out there in the world who, you know, would carry on the tradition of ghosts, even if ghosts themselves, you know, all kind of just disappeared into the ether, which ain't going to happen. All right. Refuse a private company. Twitter's a private company. And this shit happens when, you know, those, these things are in private hands. Okie doke. Hope this has been helpful. If you have questions about this, feel free to ask. Thanks. Okay, everybody, I'm adding one little extra bit to this video. I actually just looked at uh, some news around review. I just recorded the video on uh, how to make the edits on your card profile uh, or your card landing page to, you know, add a different land, add a different newsletter provider because reviews not going to be around in a month. Well, it looks like what happened actually was Jack Dorsey published a. Uh, his first newsletter using review yesterday, the 13th of uh, December, 2022. And a day later, Elon Musk shuttered the whole entire thing. So that, or the whole entire project, which is pretty damn sad and kind of funny. Um, but nonetheless, it shows you who is in charge of Twitter these days. So, uh, you know, Jack Dorsey, the former owner of, or the former CEO of Twitter, used the review, the great newsletter publishing platform that Twitter bought under his watch and to publish his first newsletter, which was sort of a attack on the current direction of Twitter and a veiled sort of attack, I guess, on Elon Musk. And within 24 hours, of course, this whole project has been taken down. So review is no longer. Anyway, I thought I'd add that. It's kind of comical. It's kind of just another uh, stone in this shit show that is always evolving with Twitter these days. But nonetheless, I figured it was worth including. Thanks so much. And I'll talk to everyone soon.